On this video I hope I will be able to show you how to remove your saloon ventilation ventilator so we'll see how it will work out. What I noticed I think it's not from the glow apartment side. I'll remedy remove it and my last resort is and hope is that it will be easy and I will can take it out from this side and I will not have to remove all this dashboard so never done this before I also don't have any schemes so we'll see how it will work out more or less first thing what you can do to check it out if it's working or not start to remove this panel I would suggest you to pull it from underneath somewhere there just some little pressure usually not too hard since I not professional, not sure if I'm doing it correctly, but more or less it happens like this. Maybe with some two hand force it would be a little bit better, but right now it's how it is. So here you can see there are the these ones, these are the fuses. And check out your fuse if it's not blown. It's a green one, dirty. And the good thing that this comes with nice teasers or whatever you call those just place it there and pull out this one and take the extra one or buy the new one and, or just check it visually if it's all right or not and replace it and check out if the ventilator is working or not maybe it's just blown fuse that's the best scenario if it's not anyway you need to remove this i think we'll see it later on Go down there. This one you need to remove. This one it's more or less like just pull it from here. There's also like this some kind of place where you can easily pull it. So just pull it like toward you. So this pops out. Well, I've seen on some videos it's actually somewhere up there. Next thing, just use to our torque 20 screwdriver and open this one, this one, here, this one, this one, and there's under the one more here. Anyway, and this is just a clip, so just pull it. So you can pull this one, just pull it out. My suggestion take out this one, don't trouble with this one if it's not coming out, and just put it this one and then put the way and take away this whole panel and go under the steering wheel. So, guys, I removed the front panel as you can see, that's like easy port. So, well, I removed this one, the air pipe goes from here to there this was harder because of this little tricky thing it's very hard to get away from here so my suggestions go by this get inside this one here and then push this one and just a little bit bend this forward to you and then pull this away when you're down there you can remove this one easily from the pipe so it's away so what may also remove this one this part or just with a few bolts, so there, there, and there. This was like clip, just so the air ventilation is somewhere behind there. All right, I was thinking it's over. How to get enough space there when you are under the steering wheel and you have removed this all wirings, whatever else. Just start with taking away connectors. There are three connectors this, this, and this. Take away the wiring. Take away the piston protector, like my thoughts. To pull this ones up, yeah, and then it will just flip up like like ching, the book open, and then just remove the bolts, and all this will go easily away. As I can see, that there is looks like this one. So we'll see how it will work out. I'm not able to show you how I unbolt these things because it's rather small space here so don't worry about this one try to help you as much as I can okay first away there maybe okay. so, so. yeah maybe I can leave this third connector for the later so, as you can see, here is some kind of snap ring or whatever, so, so to remove it, I use just this sharp, not too sharp tool. Just turn it like that and that, and then put a hand so you don't 
pop it away because it's rather springy. And it will be harder to get it back. <laughs> oh, it's worth to do it. Off we go, look like that. So, it will be hard to put it back. Yeah, some pots too. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, these ones, I don't like these. It will, hard, it will be hard to get it back. Put it in the pile of the things. Here already one bolt. So the next thing, take away this white piece. So you can remove everything what you need. Yeah, you can see now, it will easily come off. So you can now see it will easily come off. In this piece, you see I popped it already with my finger, so just put it upwards and then it will just come out. Not sure if I'll be able to show you while filming. Sorry for filming like in this way. Okay, that's up to go and now we just pop it out, pop it out. Things. So when this is done, all that's left, just a few bolts there, one, there, one, and there behind one. So I hope it's it. Maybe there's some more. So one already taken away. It's the far up there. So all four bolts away. So let's go a bit ago. So easy. I didn't try to pull it. Yep, it came easy off. So it's great. That's how it looks the pedals. Yep. Let's put this away so they do not. Whoopsie. Uh, so many parts, and I even don't know what's the problem with the one letter. I just want to see it. Test it if it's okay or not. So, there's a big chance that this is the one letter. I hope so, not sure. Here is wiring and so on. If it's not the ventilator, I will be so unhappy. So I managed to take this away. But it came with a breaking noise, so I have a little bit of sadness. I'm feeling that I broke it away. Here it was. Yep, I did it. I'm so stupid. Sorry, guys. I just broke this one. But it's just a plastic piece. Actually, don't know how it was. Put there. I don't understand it anyway. I broke it away. So don't be like me, and this is definitely a ventilator, that's a good part, I can see the electricity, that's there, and the places where I have to rotate it away. So guys, I managed to get this good old flat dryer, but man, my phone is just keep blocking the things I don't want, so what I will do, I will just... I can show you this one so easily. Put this inside. Now the electricity goes away. Freaking hard to get that. Seriously, this will not. If it is. If it will. I will be so happy, but I also am not happy because. Get here. Wow, guys, that. So, the thing we need to do next. You see the round this corner? Just try to flip it out and then take it away. Can't show you. Not too much place room for show you this. Free. There's the one clip. I can feel this one. Sometimes, usually there are more than one. Maybe this one is still. Oh no! Seriously? 
a second plastic part just broke away. Oh, it's possible I didn't press it too hard. So, what the freaking... Me not too happy. <laughs> it didn't uh, rotate it yet and it already broke away. <sighs> this is going to be so hard. Put it together and so on. Here the zone that is rotating. It's good. Oh, it's out. Just one to press this freaking one bolt and turn like this, like this. You see this motion, like this, and it comes. Mm, this moment when you just try to get it done, and it's been like night already. Oh, just last moment always must be really careful because you want to screw up everything. You've been working so hard. So since there's not too much space, but you can still rotate this. It's interesting. So this is the biggest part, the outside. So maybe start with this one. Okay, guys, uh, first of all, I'll try to figure out how to take it out correctly, so... So I had to take this out. I actually made a lot more space here. And this is a big trouble. And with everything away, the piston still is in the way. The final step was rather hard to get it out. I had to a little bit bend this one towards me, put everything like this and up down there and then just a lot of force, try to get it out and, and, I, and then I got it out. So what I've broken off, I've broken off this little plastic piece which is responsible for, what it is responsible for? Seems like nothing, so it's nothing bad, some sort of stupid plastic piece. That's good. Um, this is how this looks. First thing to check it out if it's working or not. Let's try to put. I will try to put the electricity to it. So I'll try to find two. Try to get two wires and then I will put it directly. I will connect it directly to the battery of car. So hope it will work fine. You can see there is one and there is another one. Since this is linear, linear power, you will put in opposite ways or in one ways. It will just turn to in one way or other way, so it doesn't matter how you will do it. Just do not cross together these two wires. One is plus, one is minus, that's about it. See if it rotates, we'll see. So guys, here it is. I connected the uh, two wires. They are rather loosely. There are other ends. Doesn't matter how you test it. I must admit that I already tested it. Took it apart this. And um, what I did, here you can see these white ones. Just unclip those. Pull this wire toward you. This rotator. And then look inside for those little coils or whatever you call this and just try to make the dice are loosened. Mine was stuck, so I cleaned them out. There was a lot of dirt, and after I tested it, it worked. So let's see if it still works before I put it in. And I will put it like this, so it doesn't, because I'm with one hand and it's pretty hard to do it. Here's the battery. Before this one, it didn't work. Trust me, I wouldn't take apart this if there would not be need, so just plus and minus here and there. 
and here's the rotator. Oh yeah, you can see it's working nice. And let's put it back in. That will be fun too. I will not show you how to do it, but more or less, you have seen how I did it, how I took it out. Wasn't easy. Uh, if you really want to do it, you can do it as you can see it. But outside it's like plus 15 degrees by centigrade, so it's nice weather out for me. And I had some spare time, but anyway, <laughs> this is not the job which you can do in 10 minutes. Unless you've done it like on, I don't know, 10 cars or something like that. Maybe then you can do it but for me. Luckily I don't have to replace this one. It was just dirt inside, so I cleaned this out and it's now working a lot better. Hope that it will not uh, die again. If it will, at least I will know what kind of place I need to look for this one. Also, I will take the picture of the barcode here, so I know what detail, what part I exactly need. But more or less you can find on the internet what part you need. So, thanks for watching. I hope I could help you at least locate this one and give you some advices. Not maybe advice that you seen I made a lot of faults and uh, fails, <laughs> but I could hope I could at least give you some inspiration that you can do this one since I actually did it <laughs> and it's nice feeling that this is out this didn't work in the first place so it was the right part to take out and now it works that's nice hope to see you guys thanks for watching me bye